Are you familiar with the Fourth Amendment, by the way? Vaguely. What does it say in your own vague terms? Uh, no illegal search and seizure. Everybody, so that was a part of a clip that I posted on YouTube. Not sure if I posted it on um, <clears throat> TikTok, but kind of a little disappointed about that video because even though I say people don't really care about stuff, they don't want to fight in their case, all they want to do is complain. I still, <laughs> I didn't think that video would turn out the, the way that it turned out. The whole point of that video and the title it says, what a great deposition. The, this lawyer exposed these cops. <clears throat> but the main point of me showing that video is how well a deposition can work in exposing and trapping people in questions. But everybody has such an appetite. I don't know how many people that video was shared with and they came in the comments and they're not a subscriber. But that video got... Over 6,000 views in four days. I don't, nowadays, I get videos that have anywhere from 10 to 400 views. And every once in a while, a, view, a video will be a hit. <clears throat> I'll get 1,000 views or a couple thousand views. But I, keep, I talk about depositions and it being the number one tool and weapon. And how I ask people, why aren't you doing discovery? Why aren't you having, if you got an attorney, why aren't you having them do a deposition? You know, I did a video, one, now this video is pretty popular. I think it's got like seven or 8,000 views. It, when it talks about a deposition being the number one tool, or maybe it's questions for a trial slash deposition that I would ask people. But everybody's in the comments talking about how bad cops are. The whole point, and I understand, you know, you see cops being exposed for abuse. But the whole purpose on this page where I talk about people's rights and tools that people use to win in family court, I'm pointing out what a great deposition this is. And a whole bunch of people watching it because a whole bunch of people like to sit around and whine, cry, piss, and complain about stuff and not do anything about it. Meanwhile, if you look at my video on Evidence Rule 602, probably the most important thing of all the basics that you need, you, you want to know. I tell people you need to know the rules of evidence because it's basic fundamental. Just like you need to know, you know, that you can't use hands in soccer and that, you know, the game of chess is not like checkers. You move the bishop at a diagonal. You move a rook in an L or a rook straight, you know, vertical and horizontal. And what's the horse? The knight. You move it in an L shape. You can't just move pieces the way that you want. Even though I keep getting people over and over. Well, people tell me that I could do this. Well, I thought you could do that. Well, I guess I could do that. And nobody wants to look at the rules. You're in a court of law, which is a total foreign land to you. If you if you go to France, you will look up a you will have a French dictionary in case you have trouble being in that foreign land. If you go to Mexico, you will learn a little bit of uh, Spanish or you'll bring, you know, chat GBT or GPT or, um, or a translation thing, an app on your phone. You're going into a foreign world and almost none of you guys want to learn the rules. You just say, well, I just thought I could do this. I thought I could do that. I thought, so you, you, you're a rugby player and you're going to come on a football field. Well, the ball looks almost the same. I thought I could just play this way. I understand the majority of people are just coming by for entertainment or they'll they'll look at my page and say, well, you had it easy when you got full custody or you got lucky or here's this excuse, here's that excuse. There's always going to be people like that who make up excuses why they're not going to fight. But my God, I mean, not only did this video blow up, which, you know, that's not a lot for a YouTube channel you know, 6,000 views, but for my page, nowadays it is, and not just blow up, but everybody's talking about 
how the cops suck and should be fired. Nobody's talking about what a great deposition is. So I might, I might pull the video down. But this is a great example. I mean, I'm a resource. This whole page is a resource to help you win in court. But only about one out of every hundred views, or one out of a hundred of you who watch my videos, only 1% of you will actually do something with this information and actually fight. And then people get mad at me because I say, you don't care, you don't want to fight, you're a coward, you're a sissy, you're being a bitch. And then this, this, uh, this video is a great example of it. It was a video to show people on a legal page. And the title of the video is right there. I guess people don't even like to read the titles now. They just watch a video and veg out on them. I just, I, you know, I can't, I can't fathom when there's an answer and people stumble across an answer for a situation where they're hopeless. It's just amazing to me that people will stumble across an answer that they need or something that they want. Like you want 50-50 or you want full custody. And here I am, a guy who got full custody without an attorney, destroyed the mother's first attorney, destroyed her second attorney, destroyed two different guardian items, went to the court of appeals and won a couple of times, fought off bogus attempts at restraining orders, fought off contempt, won my own contempt, all kinds of victories. And I'm the last thing, even after people come across me, you will still spend ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars on an attorney, and then get mad at me if you have to spend a hundred dollars with me. And every single person I talk to who comments on the content of our conversation, after every consult, when somebody not everybody makes a comment about what they learned or whatever, they might say thanks or okay, bye, that's everything. But when people say you know what I got out of this? I probably can count on one hand, maybe two or three people who later, after they went to court and lost and got mad at me and said, I didn't learn jack shit after three appointments with you. Well, if you, if you had three appointments, you must have learned something at first because you came back and then you came back again. But anyway, like two or, outside of two or three people, I have hundreds of people have told me. I learned more in one hour or two hours with you than I learned from all my three attorneys in the past year or two or three years or all my five years in family court. And I show testimonies of people who did stuff without, with an attorney or without an attorney. Thanks to you or because I got a consult with you, I lit a fire under my attorney. Now I got 50-50. Now I got full custody. I made my attorney do their job. And yet 99% of the people who watch me don't want to take any action at all. I'm not saying you got to do every single thing that I ever did. But if you just do something and move forward, you're going to change the fortunes of your case or the momentum of your case. Now, there's rare occasions where somebody's going to take you all the way to trial and they're going to fight to the death. And I can hear right now, 99% of you are like, oh, that's my case. Well, you haven't even tried to get on the offensive. And there's so many people who've been shocked. And I've even been shocked sometimes, like, when I'm working with somebody, and I'm like, are you doing discovery? Are you sending interrogatories? Are you doing a deposition? And, pe and people will quit. The baby's mom will say, I can't believe you're attacking me like this. What will it take to stop this case? And I get shocked at how fast the case settles out of court. But literally, 99% of people, I mean, if you look at, I got um, almost 7,000 subscribers on YouTube, so the average video will get 400 views, so what's 1% is um, 7,000, 10, okay, so 700 views would be 10%. <clears throat> and then when a video, you know, I might get, Three, four, five. I'll get like 10 inquiries a day. Somebody will just send me some random stuff. They'll send me 50 pleadings in a text message and say, read this. I'm like, no, I do consultations. I don't know who the hell you are. Or somebody will call me and argue with me that I charge for my time or and I think they're setting an appointment. So I might get 10, 15 calls in a day and then two people want an appointment. So two out of 7,000 or two, two out of, you know, Let's say 700 people watch a video. I mean, that's way less than 1%. But 
I put that video up for educational purposes and people just want to rant, whine, cry, piss, and moan and not accomplish anything.